You know, this Gojo backstory has actually been super fucking interesting, right? Because not only are we getting to see the goofy side of Gojo and Ghetto, which I love the friendship dynamic, right? I feel like majority of people's friend groups are like this, just like how Gojo and Ghetto are. They're goofy. Like, that's what homies do, bro. Like, this is what homies do. I don't know about y'all, but me and my homies, we be wilding like this. It's just, it's fun to see their dynamic and to add to how interesting this already is we get to see toji who i made an interesting observation about toji right like obviously he's an ain't shit dad because he was asked about megumi and toji doesn't seem to remember who you know megumi is which i don't know if he's playing but he's probably not because that's just the demeanor that he gives off but the interesting thing about toji is it's like he leaves everything up to chance right like he's a he's a gambler is what i will say right like he gambles on everything so it tells me more about toji than necessary right but interestingly enough this episode told me a lot about rico it feels like this whole thing has been set up for rico to become tengen samo's vessel because when the maid explained rico's like backstory i was like that's kind of odd she doesn't have any family right her parents died a long time ago why is it so conveniently set up in a way for like oh okay so you know I, i'm just gonna go spend time with my friends and all of that good stuff just to end up becoming tengen samo's vessel very 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 peculiar bro i feel like the plot is actually starting to creep in a little bit but i kind of want to jump back on toji right i kind of want to get back on that because i did say that he does leave everything up to chance right like he's a gambler but he's very methodical with it aside from the gambling shit right <laughs> like aside from that he's very methodical because be he's been setting up this whole like oh i have to get gojo tired in order for me to actually do something because wow now that i think about it oh man it's sort of like the plan that kenjaku has i don't want to say things and then end up spoiling it for people who haven't read the manga and don't know about a few things but it's sort of like the plan that was concocted to trap gojo in the cube right and i don't know what else to say about toji so far because like this is all we know other than like he's voiced by one of the greatest voice actors of all time right takahito koyasu is one of the goats when it comes to voice acting and obviously everybody knows him for dio so you know you know just how sadistic and maniacal the characters he usually plays are right like there's always that like very very villainous side to them and having him play Play toji seems like the right idea but anyway not to get too sidetracked i feel like rico is gonna become way more important than i'm giving her credit for but not to get too off subject dude the fight scene between ojo and the baghead dude that was fire just because of how stupid gojo is right not only was the explanation transitions fire right between each glass lens i thought that that was fucking fantastic but then to immediately jump to where the baghead dude was phenomenally animated it looked so fluid you could tell mappa is putting their ankles into this shit and it's only five episodes for backstory right tells you just how important gojo's backstory is anyway but the other obvious sick scene was between ghetto and the old man i love the life flashing before his eyes scene that in specific because when you saw him break through the glass you were just like oh shit no way right didn't he just get eaten but ghetto knew that that's what he wanted the whole time he knew that the dude wanted to rush him he gave him a ass whooping son that shit was sick anyways man i'm interested to see how things fare next episode i'm interested to see just how well gojo is going to be able to handle toji maybe ghetto and gojo are gonna have to go up against toji to be honest i'm not too sure but just based off of what we saw in the trailer i feel like this shit is about to come to a head rather quickly and it's gonna be an astounding fight right i'm very curious 
curious just how this is going to boil down i'm very curious what's going to go on with rico too because we don't seem to know a lot about rico but it seems that two crews are definitely after her right like two different sets of people are after her just to you know get rid of her like i said maybe we'll learn more about that in the episodes to come but make sure y'all let me know how y'all felt about this episode down below leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new don't know how many videos is going to come out today i got like four lined up that i have to record but we'll see about that shit because man it's going to be a long production day jjk is one of my favorite series and in my opinion it's the best new age shonen and it's not even close i always find it crazy how i'll say something like that right like i'll be like oh man jjk is the best new age shonen and i get fucking ripped apart for it but as soon as other popular content creators say this shit they get all the praise in the world yeah man you're right we knew too anything you say is right man that's, that's it's crazy you're right bro yeah yeah but you know that's just kind of how it goes in the uh content creator sphere but i'm gonna cut this short for now because there's no need to drag this on with that being said it's your boy damo senpai and i will catch you guys in the next episode wow i said next episode i meant the next video man i'll catch y'all in the next video